It's a quiet street in Akron, but what happened inside this home stunned even veteran investigators like Dan Wintrick. It was a very horrendous crime. Uh, I've been to many crime scenes, and this was one of the worst uh, as far as, uh, you know, how these victims were, were killed. In this upstairs bedroom, 85-year-old Juliana Gurna was bludgeoned to death. Downstairs, her 43-year-old son, Alan, left in a pool of blood. There was really nothing else at that point. Some witnesses, but uh, really nothing concrete. Witnesses thought they saw this man driving the dead woman's car. However, he was never found in that car. He denied ever driving that car, and there wasn't physical evidence placing him in that car. So we really needed to tie him to that scene. It looked as if Johnny Cook was getting away with murder. But there was no physical evidence at that point tying him to that scene. Then Wintrick spotted something here in the bathroom, tiny pieces of paper that may have been used to clean up the crime scene. And this, a roll of toilet paper. And we thought that he would stick his fingers into the, the roll and, you know, dispense the tissue. And uh, we thought maybe we would take it into the lab and they could get any touch DNA from his fingers inside that toilet paper roll. And it all came down to something called touch DNA. A touch DNA is, unlike other forms of DNA like blood or semen or saliva, you can't see it. And it's from skin cells from the suspect touching items. So they brought it back here to the crime lab at the Bureau of Criminal Identification in Richfield. And the entire case came down to this. This item of toilet paper was submitted. Stacy Violi. Moisten it with some water. Is a forensic scientist. The moisten swab would pick up any trace amount of DNA that was deposited inside from touching or handling the object. Johnny Cook denied ever being there, but tiny skin cells too small to see put Cook in prison for life. It was huge. It was very huge. Um, <clears throat> like I said, we needed to tie him to that scene. There's nothing better than DNA. It's specific to that person, and it put him at that crime scene. And with touch DNA, you can get a match with just six or eight skin cells left behind. It's becoming a powerful tool to solve crimes. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.